Hey everybody, here I am again, Angie, Queen Common Sense, coming from you, coming to you from Chi Town, holding it down. Peace, everybody. And um, I just was coming back to do a little bit lighter mood of a vlog for y'all. And this is for the ladies and the men. Um, it's about natural hair and embracing our history of who we really are. And a couple of people have requested me to do um, some little tips on my natural hair and how I maintain it and take care of it and get it to grow. Because as we all know, our Afro uh, textured hair is very delicate, it's very fragile, and we are transitioning from chemically processed hair over to the natural, non-chemically processed hair, which is otherwise known as virgin hair and right now as you can see you know I've been rocking the kinky twist for about a year now straight you know I have them removed and I put them in it is a very good protective style especially for when you have extreme heat you know hot climates like this summer was really hot really humid and you know it, it just is very, very uh, dangerous for our Afro-textured hair. And if you want to promote length and strength, you want to wear protective styles a lot. Like, you know, something easy, kinky twist. And um, these are, the majority of this twist is my hair. I have a 12-inch Afro underneath these braids. And um, the braid is pretty much all my hair with some human hair braided into it. So right now I have it pulled up. I'm about to do yoga, so I usually pull them up real loose in a little bun or a little, you know, tucky ponytail, whatever, to protect it. Um, the second tip is key to Afro-textured hair is moisture, 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 moisture. I can't say that enough, ladies. Um, moisture, rise your body, which means lots of water, Lots of natural fruit juices, natural fruit juices, not the sugary crap that you get out of the fridge at the corner store, natural fruit juices. If you have a juicer, you could do that with your fruits, lots of vitamin E, lots of vitamin C, D, and lots of B, and B12. It's good for your body, good for your skin, good for your hair, lots of protein, um, stay away from the you know, sugary stuff. No sugar, 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 that's bad. But uh, natural sugar is good, obviously. Um, I also, like I said, moisturize with um, natural, like water-based or oil-based products. And it's kind of hard to find around in, you know, the commercial uh, drug stores, that, that mass market stuff. You have to kind of go to your health food stores, um, henna is one good one that I use. You could just go into your local uh, health food store or herbal store, herbal supplement store. Sometimes they have them. If you have an African shop near you that sells natural shea butter, 100% shea butter. It comes in uh, either a brick or, um, I'm sorry, I'm not prepared. Let me get it for you. It's, it looks like this. It comes in a tub. Natural African shea butter. See, that says 100% shea butter. And it's, it's, it's like butter. And it smells really good. It's not real greasy. And it absorbs into your scalp pretty quickly. And it, and it lasts a couple days. But I use this every day. You know, I have one for my hair. And I have one for my skin. I use it all over my body. And I also use natural African black soap. That way. This is a good exfoliant. See that? African black soap, 100% natural. And it's not black in color. It kind of looks like sand. But it, it's, it's beautiful. It has a really light, airy, fresh scent once you use it. And you can use a little, you know, lather it up. Like normal soap, put it on your face, cleanse your makeup off at night, um, you know, for daily, you know, in the morning when you wake up, 
You can use a little bit, lather it up with a little warm water, wash it off. You know, you, you, you kind of have, it's like really soft, almost like clay. I don't know if you can see that pretty good. It's really supple. And I, I sometimes I use this on my hair when I don't have any shampoo. It's very gentle. It has no chemicals. It has no perfumes, no dyes, no alcohol. You want to stay away from alcohol-based products on your face, on your hair, and on your skin, on your body. Because that, what does alcohol do? It evaporates. It dries you out. So moisture for our lovely brown girls and boys is very key. This is very soft, very moist, almost like clay. It's, it's very beautiful. It smells good. And if the kid, if you have children, babies, kids of any age, very safe, very non-toxic. It, it, it tastes, of course, soap doesn't taste good, but it won't hurt them if you get it in, in the uh, eyes or the mouth, if they accidentally chew it, you know, because I have a one-year-old granddaughter, and she loves to, she's, you know, puts everything in her mouth, of course. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It won't hurt them, and I bathe her with this when she's with me, and she comes out so soft, exfoliates, cleanses, and leaves a nice light, fresh scent so it doesn't clash with your cologne or your perfume. My husband uses it. My two teenage boys use it. It's beautiful. This is about $7 where I live, and um, if you live in the Lake County area and you want to get some of this, I you can email me and... Um, I'll be more than happy to guide you to where to get some. But it's African black soap. You want to stay away from the actual black soap in color because it has wax in it. And it doesn't give you the full effect that the natural stuff would do. Natural hair, natural products. Make sense? Another daily moisturizer I use is um, over-the-counter. I get it from Walgreens. I don't know if you can see that it's kind of weird yeah but it says uh, organic root stimulator shea butter softening hair and scalp lotion it's in a yellow bottle with a little tip on it so you could just you know use it every day just put it in your scalp put it all over like that so it feels great when it's hot I do I put it in the fridge put some all through my hair feels so good especially if you're itching your scalp is itchy or dry, you just shampooed it. You don't want to uh, blow dry or use heat. You let it air dry and your scalp gets tight. That's that's very dangerous for your hair because if it's dry, what? It brittle and it breaks, right? I use it all around the nape, you know, you could see it. And just massage it in gently with your fingers. Another key, when you're transitioning over from processed hair to natural hair, your hair, your scalp, it itches. Ladies, please, it drives me crazy when I see people scratching their scalp with their, their fingers, their nails. That's very dangerous for our roots and our hair follicles toward the scalp. That's damaging anything with friction. Damages breaks and it creates dry. Plus, you, you know, you've been touching stuff. You have dirt on your hands. Don't put it in your hair. Try to keep your hands out your hair. Unless you have a protective style like braids or a bun or whatever. Now, if you don't have braids and a bun or whatever and you just want to wear your natural hair, what I do when I do have my afro down, <coughs> and you can, you can check out my Facebook page for those of you, Angie George Wynn, that's my Facebook page, check it out. And um, what I do is I'll take, you know, a, a weft of hair, just pretend like this is my real hair, and I just put it in the Bantu knots at night. Sometimes I wear it like that during the day if I don't have it in my braids or whatever. And um, that's a protective style. Keep the moisture in. If the ends are very important when you're transitioning, keep those ends trimmed neatly. You don't have to have the big chop, the BC. You can transition very easily over from your process style to your natural style. It takes patience as the key. Also, it takes time because our hair is very fragile, as I stated earlier. One last tip is at night, if you wear your hair with just the, the, the without the protective style or without the weave, wrap your hair up at night in something satin 
or something silk or your bantu knots or french braid it just corn row it in a few corn rows moisturize it while you're braiding it up and get you a satin or silk pillowcase cotton is what it pulls moisture out of our skin so get something satin or silk to sleep on even if you just put a little material over your pillow at night sleep on that because the cotton pillowcases especially the lower thread counts they pull our hair as we're turning and sleeping and it, it, it damages our, our ends and it damages the nape and the temples around our, the frame of our face so those are just a few little tips that I do that I use you know for my natural hair and it's really thick and strong I can you know I can grab it see I'm pulling it it's very strong and because I drink a lot of water every day I exercise every day and I use those products don't forget African black soap for the body for the face the beauty products you know that natural stuff stay away from that other stuff I won't mention no names, but, you know, stay away from the drugstore stuff. Try to go to your local health food store, herbal store, African, um, you know, shops. Give, give our people back our business. There's a lot of beautiful businesses out there, black-owned businesses. We need to recirculate our um, brown dollar back into the community a little bit more and so support it. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it. This tub lasts me about a month. Honestly, it was full. It was full. But now, you know, it had like maybe eight or nine chunks like that in there. And you don't need a lot of this soap. It goes a long, long, long way. Um, the other one I showed you was African Shea Butter. This can go all over your body. From your hair to your face to your body after you bathe. Beautiful scent. It keeps you moisturized all day. Winter, summer, spring, or fall. Th this is something I live by. I go crazy if I do not have a tub of shea butter in the house and ladies when you're straightening your hair this is a good heat protectant it's a natural sunblock for our skin and our hair and also it's a good uh, protectant from the cold you know when you go out you know you want to wear your your skinny jeans or you know you have on a dress or a skirt put this on underneath your tights or your light nylons guarantee you you won't feel a gust of wind i live in the big city in the windy city with the hawk this keeps the wind burn, sunburn from happening. Great product. And over-the-counter uh, shea butter root stimulator, organic root stimulator. I get this from Walgreens, Walmart, or, uh, CVC, Costco, whatever, you know, drugstore that sells, you know, African-American products, you know. It is slim pickings in some of them, and you have to go to the store manager and talk to him about it. Just say, hey, you know, I'd like to see more African-American hair care products, and, and they'll order it for you if you're nice to them. So, yeah, that's it, and um, I'm going to do my yoga and my meditation. Lady, remember, the body is the temple. Take care of you, and everything else will fall in line. Peace. I love you. Any more questions, please put a comment below. Take care of you. Always remember those three tips. Moisturize, protective styles, natural products for your hair, your body, and inside and out. All right? Love you. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Till next time. Queen Common Sense coming to you from the Chi-Town holding it down. Peace out.